All right, gang, I'm going to tell you guys the five things that I believe you need to know when you go offshore before you leave the dock. Number one, on your private boat, you got to have the biggest bait tank you can have. It, bait is crucial. When you get offshore at 50 to 100 miles, there's no bait receivers out there. So whatever bait you got is the bait you have for your trip. The little square box in the back of your boat, that is not a bait tank. That is a live well. If you're lucky enough to catch a largemouth, bring it in. We'll weigh it up. We'll call Bloody Decks. We'll call every single media company in the world because you'll be the first person to ever catch a largemouth bass in the ocean. And we're going to film it and we're going to take pictures of it. That's all that square box is good for. It will not keep your live anchovies or your live sardines alive. They need something oval or round in shape so the bait can swim against the current in, an, in a circle. In that square box, all that is is a washing machine. It'll kill your bait by the time you get out to where you're going. All your bait's dead. And when you're fishing with live bait, you, what do you want? Live bait. <laughs> so don't kill your bait. Don't put it in a square box in the back corner of your boat. Put it in a round bait tank. Super important. Number two, do not try to figure out how to use your electronics once you get offshore. You want to figure out how to use your electronics before you get out there and try to figure out what the fish look like on your fedometer, your fish finder. You do not want to go offshore and try to figure out how to use it. And the last thing you want to do is go offshore and try to figure out how to use your radar. You want to figure out how to use those key ingredients to your boat before you leave the dock so that you have a very successful trip. Fish finder, you need to know how to use and the radar you need to know how to use. We all know how to use a GPS. We use it every single day on the road. You put in where you want to go and it tells you how to get there. That's not an issue. We all know how to use a GPS. Number three, don't sneak up on kelp patties. There's no kelp patty in the world that needs to be snuck up on. Drive up to the edge of the kelp patty. Look, if you see fish under it, there's fish on the kelp patty. If you throw your bait in the water and you hook a fish, there's fish on the kelp patty. If you look at your fish finder and you see fish underneath the, underneath the boat on the fish finder, there's fish on the kelp patty. If none of those three things happen, guess what? There's no fish on the kelp patty. Go find another one. Get off of it. Don't sit there all day waiting for the fish to show up at the kelp patty. No kelp patty in the world restocks during the day. They restock at night under the cover of darkness. The fish move from kelp patty to kelp patty at night. They do not move during the day. Once they're where they are during the day, they stay there because fish are afraid that another fish is going to eat them. So once they're together in a group under a kelp patty, that's where they're going to stay. They're not going to move until it gets dark. So don't stay on your kelp patty all day waiting for something to happen. You need to go find a patty that has fish on it. Number three, number four, do not think that anybody's going to call you on the radio and tell you that the fish are biting. Have you guys ever been in a wide open bite? The only thing you ever thought of was getting to the radio and telling everybody. So come on, guys. Your radio should be on channel 16 because that's the law. You should be monitoring 16. But if you don't know anybody on the water, stay off of 72. Stay off of 65. That is never, ever going to help you catch fish. Nobody in their right mind is going to call you up and tell you to come on over here. They don't even know you. And so the radio is not your friend. Turn the radio off and just start looking for fish. Number five, quit fishing for boats. You got to fish for fish, guys. I see so many guys out there looking and going from boat to boat to boat to boat. That's never going to help you guys. When you get offshore, start looking for fish. Go to Fish Dope, get a game plan. Once you got your plan, stick with your plan. Stay away from chasing boats. It'll never catch fish if you're going from boat to boat to boat. But you might get to watch other people catch fish. If that's what you're into, go on YouTube and watch all the fishing videos on there. Or go on TV and watch that. But don't go fishing for boats. Those are my five tips for offshore. Good luck out there, guys. Let us know what you do and how these tips work for you.